What's good, y'all? It's your girl Brie with Beat by Brie. Welcome back to the Makeup Geek Squad, gang, gang. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna be doing this crazy bold look in this video. Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell so you can see when I'm uploading these funky colors. Let go. All right. So here I'm starting out with a subtle stamp of green. <laughs> like that sh money that we're going to be getting okay sha coins and there's the name of it right there uh -huh. it's from the juvia's palette everything will be in the description box uh, more detailed so just check there for reference and then i'm going to go in um, with the lighter tan color at the top of it to kind of blend that green out so it's not so harsh and I did not set my concealer. Of course, we're going to be using the James Charles palette for the rest of this look. I'm going to go in with that black color. Stamp that in so that when I cut the crease, the black is peeking out. And just make sure you blend, 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 ladies. Blend like your life is dependent on it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so crazy. I love these voiceovers. Let me tell y'all why I like doing voiceovers so much. While I'm doing my makeup, I need to listen to something. I need to watch TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I really just cannot sit there with no music or anything. It drives me. But anyways, here I'm cutting my crease after I've smoked that eye out. So I'm cutting my crease with the P. Louise and the Rumor 2. As you can see, it's very white and it's not even the whitest shade that they have but it definitely will make your eyeshadow pop so I definitely recommend Louise um, concealer or eye base if you haven't tried it it's definitely a game changer Okay, so here I'm going to throw that little wing on it. Um, the beautiful thing about this is, I know most people go right in and just bring the concealer down, but I want to get all that black off. Oh, girl, that red is no joke. I love the James Charles palette. It's so pigmented because a lot of those are, um, like I said, pressed pigments instead of, you know, regular eyeshadows. But you can see how pigmented this is. Girl, this is looking red, red like bloods and crisps. You already know. <laughs> and just make sure you do not swipe. Just press that color in so you have the true color and it's bold. Yes. Okay, so this step is a little bit tricky. What I did was I took a small brush, more like a detail brush, um, and I started to, I took the black from the palette and I started to make random spots. Um, now eventually I'm going to go over those spots with um, my NYX uh, matte liner to make them more defined, but I didn't want the edges to be so harsh. So when you're patting the little brush, it kind of diffuses the edge of the of the spots, basically. So it's a method to the madness, trust me. And if I would have laid the color down first right here, it would have kind of like it wouldn't have been as intense. So go ahead and lay your black down first. And then I'm gonna fill in <laughs> the white spots using that which is what I, I did off camera make sure that the red and that orangey color is blended you don't want any harsh lines so here I'm just going over with the eyeliner uh, like I said to intensify those spots making it a little bit more defined but I definitely still wanted that diffused look on the edge and it's not like it doesn't look like it's just stamped on basically 
So take your time with this step. Don't be in any rush. You know, just really take your time. Um, you know, and give it your best because it is a unique look and you've never done it before, most likely. So you definitely want to um, take your times with this. Okay, so I went ahead and took a makeup wipe and, you know, go ahead and just wipe off the excess. I guess it's kind of like cutting the crease, but not <laughs> cutting the wing, basically. Um, okay, checking myself out, girl. But take a little bit more of that P. Louise. Make sure that the outside is very neat, very clean with a flat brush. Go ahead and drag that down. You know what I'm saying? So you can blend it out. Pop some stuff on it and be on, girl. <laughs> take your time with this step, too. See, looks like this. They definitely take time. Um, you know, when you want to be lazy and just do something real quick because you have somewhere to go. Um, you know, go ahead and just do like a little simple blend here, blend there, and glitter on the lid. You know what I mean? I, I, oh, girl, no, you're not. <laughs> Girl, I done took me a little ice cream break. I think I was on a fast. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so I'm using my Juvia's Place Foundation. Girl, I love this foundation. It's, a, it's chocolate. It's full of coverage. Like, yes. Girl, this stuff be having me looking like I got a whole filter on my face. I be walking around looking like Snapchat in person, girl. Snatched don't play but y'all done seen somebody put on foundation once you done seen it all so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm not even gonna talk to this y'all i'm gonna just let y'all watch me stamp my face and please make sure your beauty blender is damp like don't do a disservice disservice to yourself please don't do it <laughs> please please don't do it don't do it Oh yeah, be very careful when you're next to those little lines that you created, girl, because you can ruin your whole look. All right, so of course we're gonna just highlight under our eyes. We're gonna highlight um, like above our cupid's bow. We're gonna highlight our chin. We're gonna highlight the middle of our nose. We're gonna highlight our forehead. You seen one highlight, you seen them all. <laughs> I think I'm using the L'Oreal. I'll have to put the color in the description box, but I love this um, concealer. It's very creamy. It's just really nice. Nothing too special. And as you can see, I'm not dragging this like way to my ear. I'm just taking it like right where the makeup stops. I don't want my face to look too wide. So I'm just gonna kind of keep it in that area. 
Okay, so of course we're gonna go ahead and bizzak our face, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can't be walking around with no raw face, like with no raw cake, you know what I'm saying? You gotta bake, baby. You gotta put that thing in the oven on 350 for 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm just playing. So I have this Sasha Buttercup um, powder, and I pack it on pretty heavy, and then I take my damp beauty blender, and I really just press it and melt it into my skin, honey. Yes, it gives me a flawless in ending look. I'm walking around just feeling like butter, okay? Like straight butter. So, let me tell y'all. I went ahead with my MAC powder. I powdered the rest of my face just to set it in place because like I said you need anything that you're using liquid for you need a powder on top of it you need to mattify it you need to dry it down because that shiny look is no bueno not only that but your makeup will smear and it's just not crude girl it's not crude it's just not and I don't know if y'all know but I live in Arizona Girl, it's almost 100 deg degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody got time for that. First of all, it's low-key too hot to even be wearing makeup, but I still want to look crude. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the Turquoise Juvia's Place palette, on the right hand side, they have this really chocolatey brown color. Oh, I love it so much. I use this to cut my, I mean, I use this to contour. It's like the perfect tone for me. It's not too harsh, not too light. I love it. So go down the bridge of my nose. You know what I'm saying? Gotta snatch that nose in like Kim K's waist. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to have my nose looking like Michael Jackson. You feel me? And then the highlight that I use is from the same palette as I used the contour. It's so crazy. It's like an eyeshadow palette, but it has everything that I need. It even has a blush in there. Oh, wait. I am I'm using the blush. <laughs> I'm hitting my inner core, inner tear duct with this, the gold that's in that palette. Yes, but look at that fan brush. Yes. That's what you call a luxury fan brush. Do you see how thick that is? I got this from MAC. MAC, MAC brushes. My lip gloss is popping. <laughs> yes. Yes, girl, I'm going to need that fan yeah. in the summertime because it's hot. That's why I shape like a fan because your highlight is supposed to be popping in the summertime. During the time, you may need a fan. Like, that's just what it is. It's a subliminal, and y'all don't even know it. <laughs> oh, wow. So I just go back over my eyeliner after I'm done with all of that because sometimes in the process you can kind of make it uh, diffuse. It's not as sharp, not as clean. So I do that. I'm going to go ahead and line these lips before I throw that red on. And I think the red color is NYX. I don't really know the, the name of it. I'm going to have to get that. But Because I'm a chocolate girl, I went ahead and threw a brown liner on. And then I threw on that red lip now if y'all watch me y'all know i never really wear colored lips but i'm gonna start doing it because i have so much lipstick and it's really a waste like but i know like if i were to wear this out i probably would like if i'm not going anywhere for real for real i'll probably put a new lip gloss on and call it a day sometimes i be trying to just be a regular schmegula girl but other days i be trying to just be that girl who is she? You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So I got a little lip brush. You know what I'm saying? I'm blending that in. Oh, girl. And that is the final look. Look at that, girl. Look at that highlight. Turn, baby. Let me see something. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm not mad at it. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Love and peace.